Rachel Prism from Clark's Pet Emporium is here today with two and a half foot ball python and an education about cold blooded reptiles. Does this snake have a name? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, yeah. honestly, thank you for joining us. But um, so being cold blooded means what? Um, well, it's exothermic, which means that they actually get all of their heat from external sources. Um, most commonly in the wild, it would be the sun, um, but in captivity, we have to replicate the sun um, because the the sun also gives reptiles a lot of uh, a lot of benefits through um, ultraviolet rays, UV. Um, so they actually need the UV light to. Uh, utilize the nutrients in their food. So when you set up a, uh, a habitat at home, you need not only a heat source, but a source of that UVB um, or UVA light. And what's the difference between B and A? I'm, I'm sorry, you say <laughs> B and A. I was like, oh. They're different spectrums gotcha. and they, they have different benefits. Okay, so. awesome. Well, very nice. And uh, I've never held a snake before. I actually yeah. did just a little bit ago, and I have to say <laughs> it's quite the experience. Yeah. Of course, if you're in the market for a snake, you can always pick uh, one up at Clark's. Oh, That's definitely. Okay. Yeah, this I, this guy's actually for sale at our, at our stores. He's super tame. Um, if you'd like to. Yeah, I, I will but. try to hold your wonderful <laughs> yeah, snake. Yeah, he is, he is super laid back, very, very tame. Yeah, so tell, so. Us, tell us about uh, what else about reptiles or get, purchasing a mm -hmm. snake. What do we have to, what do you have to prepare well, besides as, a lamp? And I see the lamp and stuff there. Yeah, um, as, as far as setting up a habitat, you really have to think about where the animal comes from, um, where the species originates. Like this guy is from uh, kind of north north uh, western Africa so lots of grasslands but still pretty humid so he needs to be in an enclosure that is a constant 80 degrees with a basking spot of around 90 and then uh, um, and then the humidity needs to be about 60 to 80 degrees so sometimes that's a little bit hard to to keep the humidity up yeah, especially really. living here in New Mexico oh yeah um, as opposed to something like a bearded dragon which is another very popular pet. Uh, the bearded dragon um, comes from Australia. Uh, yeah. Very, very uh, areas. Ryan, there's the bearded dragon. Wow, that, right. Now I see why they call him a bearded dragon. Yeah, exactly. Nice. The, the beard on the bottom actually turns black on the males. That's what I look um, like when I don't shave, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> just, just so you know. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, so do how do I know is this is this snake poisonous? This type of snake that you have oh, here? Oh no, 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 he's not poisonous at all. He's um, thank you. He's That's part comforting. of the constrictor family. So instead of using some sort of venom, so he's just going to um, choke me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he's not big enough to choke. That's you. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> now he doesn't look big enough to, to choke me. So no. now, what, what about finding snakes in the wild? How do I know whether I can grab a snake or not, or is it always good not to touch a snake uh, that's in the wild? Honestly, uh. Any time, I would just leave wildlife alone. Uh, gotcha. Not only, not only do you not know what is poisonous and what is not. Here in New Mexico, we have rattlesnakes, we have water moccasins, which are very, um, very dangerous. But it, we also have a lot of issues with um, species that are endangered here right. in New Mexico. So. Given the choice, don't really gotcha. don't pick up things out of the wild. So, so now you mentioned humidity. That's a temperature is one of the things. What else do we need to consider when getting a home for a snake? Um, well, you want to consider the potential size. Just like um, we were talking about fish mm -hmm. uh, a couple weeks ago. He, um, this guy, he'll get about, uh, I'd say maybe half a foot longer than that. Um, but you want to definitely, most of the animals that you see at pet stores are going to be young and uh, much smaller than their potential size. So you want to get an enclosure that would be appropriate for that animal. Right. And then also, once again, think about the origin that they're from. Um, and and we can definitely help you set up a... Right. Well, you guys are the experts definitely yeah. to go to. <laughs> but, like, what about food? I feel bad. Like, did, is it really... Um, well, <laughs> that's the other thing that kind of uh, makes people a little bit queasy. Most reptiles do eat live food, whether yeah. that be crickets, mealworms, um, mice, or rats. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, especially snakes. A and lot of them won't transfer over to frozen no. um, food. A lot of them just need the live food. I had a girlfriend like that who wouldn't eat frozen food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> not good. Not a good thing. So I, honestly, um, you know I have rats. Yes. And I just got a litter of rats, and I love my rats. And yes. I just can't. I can't see doing that. That's so, yeah. It's got. Oh my goodness! Can you get him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. No, he's taking off. He was off. going through down my shirt or something. I'm not sure what was going on. Why? Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. Honestly, it's it, it's an issue you're going to have to deal with. Um. We do. Uh. We do have frozen. Um, gotcha. Which are are humanely euthanized and then frozen, and a lot of snakes will transfer um over to frozen right. ju just fine. Right. And do you have like a starter reptile? Just yeah, uh, leopard geckos are actually oh. really easy, r really easy to start with. What's because, a leopard gecko? Oh, there you go. There's yeah, a picture. There's That's a picture cute. See, I would right love there. to start off with something like that. Yeah. He looks cuddly and sweet. Yep. Um, he would eat crickets. Uh, the nice thing about him is it's um, it's a fairly uh, easy setup because leopard geckos are also nocturnal, so you don't really need to worry about the UVB um, light on them. They need, they still need a heat source, but uh, they come from desert areas, so you're not going to need to worry about keeping it humid in there for him. Um, so they're they're a pretty easy starter reptile. Well, yeah, I, I may consider starting off with something like that. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Very nice. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, um, anything else that you want to give us a tip about, real quick? Um, honestly, just uh, if you come into Clark's, we will definitely help you set up whatever you need for any sort of reptile that you have in mind. Well, well definitely. You guys are definitely the experts. So yeah. there's so much to know about uh, any living creature you intend to care for. And if you need to know how, ask the professionals at Clark. There are two locations in Albuquerque, one on Lomas, west of San Mateo, and the south side of the street, and Manal, west of Juan Tabo, also on the south side. Rachel, thanks so much for being with us, uh -oh. and thank you for uh, letting me be the first to, the first experience with the snakes. So thank yeah. you so much. <laughs>